Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be going through the difference between the empirical formula and the molecular formula. And as you'll see, sometimes compounds, their empirical and molecular formulas are the same, and most of the time, their empirical and the molecular formulas are different. All right, so let's get started. Here is the empirical formula. This is the common definition for the empirical formula. It's the relative number of atoms of each element, or the empirical formula shows you represents the relative number of atoms of each element in that chemical compound. And the way I like to think of it is it's the lowest ratio. So we're going to reduce the molecular formula down to its lowest ratio. I kind of think of it like math, like fractions. You're reducing to the simplest fraction. Okay, and it's, it's the lowest positive integer ratio. Of course, you don't really have negative numbers in a chemical formula. But they do have to be, we don't really think about it that much because we always see them that way, it does have to be in whole number integer, and it shows the lowest positive integer ratio. Okay? That's a little different than the molecular formula. The molecular formula shows the actual proportion of atoms of each element in that chemical compound. All right? So I'm going to go through a couple examples, and hopefully you'll see sometimes the empirical formula and the molecular formula are the same, and sometimes, but most of the time the empirical formula and the molecular formula for a given compound are different. All right? So here are a few examples. We have formaldehyde, acetic acid, and glucose. I'm just going to show you the molecular formula, write down the molecular formula and the empirical formula so that you can see the difference. All right, formaldehyde. Formaldehyde has a molecular formula of CH2O. That's the actual proportion of atoms of each element in that compound. And most of the times, when people are asking you what's the chemical formula for a compound, they're really asking you what's the molecular formula. All right, so here's acetic acid. What's the chemical formula? What's the molecular formula for acetic acid? It's C2H4O2. Okay, that's the chemical formula. That's the molecular formula for acetic acid. All right, and then glucose, C6. H12O6. That's the molecular formula for glucose. Now, you should notice that these, this cannot be reduced. So the molecular formula for formaldehyde and the empirical formula for formaldehyde are the same. All right, you cannot reduce the ratio. This is the lowest ratio. But you'll notice here we have a 2, a 4, and a 2, and 2, 4, and 2 are both divisible, or excuse me, are all divisible by 2. So we can reduce this to its simplest ratio, and you'll notice we'll get C H 2 O. So here we have a case where the molecular formula and the empirical formula are different. And we have another one here for glucose. We have a 6, a 12, and a 6. And, all, and both of those numbers, or the 6, the 12, and the 6, are both divisible by 6. And if we reduce that to the lowest ratio, therefore we get CH2O. So we have another compound that has this for its molecular formula and a different empirical formula. So you'll notice we have three different compounds, three different molecular formulas, but all three of those compounds have the same empirical formula. All right? So that's the difference between molecular and empirical formula. I hope that was helpful, and have a good day.